morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. Today is December 13th. I got my puppy dog here. I got both of my puppy dogs here with me. The other one's just too little, so she's not in the camera uh, shot. But anyway, I wanted to hop on real quick. Oh, bless you. My goodness, bless you. I wanted to hop on and say good morning. Um, I'm going, I'm getting ready to do my daily workout. And before I got all gross and sweaty, I wanted to hop on. Just talk a little bit about today's plans and show you show you a little bit of update on my Christmas socks. So let's do that first because I've got one completely done and even the ends are woven in on it. Yay for me. And then I have the second one actually pretty close. I mean, I can whip this out by the end of the week. I would think to finish it up because really oops I don't really have that much longer to go and self striping yarn is so addicting it just for me it is you just want to keep going to the next color so that's exciting because remember at the beginning I said I probably wouldn't even get these done before Christmas but I think I'm on track to do just that so today is um, Okay, this is the crazy week. This is the crazy week of December. So we were gone yesterday for a good portion of the day. And then um, this morning I have here at home and I have a bunch of stuff to get done just housework wise. Um, but then Lily and I have to leave around lunchtime to go to Pittsburgh to her children's hospital for her ultrasound. And um, okay, so just to fill in real quick for those of you who don't know. So back in... July of this year, she had to have abdom uh, emergency abdominal surgery. Well, I shouldn't say abdominal surgery. She, we didn't know what was going on with her, but she got uh, pretty sick and was in a lot of pain. And I think it took our second emergency room visit for them to um, go in and they couldn't, they didn't really know for sure what was going on until they went in surgically and they found she had a really large cyst so they removed it and we dealt with <laughs> oh my months so that was in July and her one incision didn't fully heal until October the end of October and it was because we found out she was allergic to the glue that they used and then there was a stitch that didn't dissolve that was supposed to and it was just it was just a big ordeal Anyway, um, right after she, we got the incision healed up, she went back for a repeat ultrasound just as a follow-up and found out that she has another large cyst in that same area. So today we're going back for another ultrasound to see how, to see how it looks. So we will see what happens with that. Um, from there but anyway we're doing that this afternoon and um, we actually have the ultrasound and then we have an appointment in the clinic with her surgeon right after which is good because that means we should leave there and know exactly what we're dealing with so having said all that I'm going to get my workout in and do a few things around the house here and um, then honestly I'll probably have to pretty much leave right after that so <laughs> I don't know what the day is gonna look like um, Lily then has youth group tonight and Ian and his girlfriend are going to a concert and Brad is working late so I I think I might be home alone this evening um, which means I will probably I will most likely be knitting and watching vlogmas episodes getting caught up on those I didn't really watch a whole lot I hardly watched any I think I watched two um, since last Friday Maybe? I don't know. It's been busy. Okay, so just wanted to do a quick check-in. I'm going to go now, get my work out, work out in, and get all my stuff done that I can get done before we have to leave here in three hours.
Okay, we're stuck in traffic. Just watch. My he'd like, he'd like, he'd like um, slam on the brakes and you'd run right in the back of it because you're distracted. I, I know, that's bad. Okay, <laughs> so we're stuck in traffic and I was just thinking, we're probably going to be late. But we have so much to be thankful for, Lily. <laughs> like the sunshine is out, I think. But this is like the only day for at least the next week that we're going to have sun. So we need to like really soak it in and enjoy it. Yep, we had her ultrasound and then we went to her appointment and we sat there for uh, a long time. I don't even know how long. <laughs> An hour and 45 minutes? Does that sound right? Yeah. Yes, and we were waiting for the radiology, re uh, for the ultrasound reports to come from radiology. And finally the doctor came in and said, I don't know what's taking so long. So basically there's, you know, we can't really, I can't give you any information. So... Um, we have to wait. I guess they're going to call us tomorrow. So it is now 4.33 and we have an at least an hour drive home. That's if there aren't, isn't any traffic, which we're leaving the city at 4.30. So I'm sure there will be. Um, and yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, this is life, right? This is life sometimes. So we'll find out eventually. Just... Not today. Okay, Lily and I just got home. It's dark out now. Ian is doing dishes. You're so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Also, this is gonna be the most boring vlog you've ever watched. I'm just saying. You're not, get out of here. Okay, I just wanna introduce everybody to Jordan. This is Ian's girlfriend. Okay, all right, that's it. seven o'clock at night and I am just I'm just gonna end this here but I had to share some exciting exciting news at least for our family so um, you know I have already shared that we had to go to Children's Hospital to do a follow-up ultrasound and we got there and it didn't go as planned because we had to wait and then the doctor didn't get the radiology report so we didn't even end up knowing what was going on well, at 6 p.m. this evening, um, the report came in and Lily's cyst is gone. And guys, I'm just claiming it as a miracle. <laughs> there is so much more to the story than I have shared on here. Um, just so many ways that we have seen God working through this. But the cyst that she had, um, just to keep kind of give... A perspective it was a complex cyst which means it's made of tissue rather than fluid so it typically they typically don't just resolve themselves they typically need surgically removed so um, 
when we saw the surgeon today, he told us that if the cyst had grown or stayed the same, they, we would need to do an MRI so they could identify the type of tissue they were dealing with. And if it had shrunk, then you know we would repeat the ultrasound in six weeks, but it is gone. In fact, it is um, her, I, it's always hard to know how much to share, but um, I, and I always ask my children, I just want you to know that I am not just on here talking personal stuff about my kids, um, you know, without their permission. So just, just know that, but like it is, it is, it's gone and it is just amazing. And again, there's, there's backstory. There's um, just the way we've seen God's hand through this in various ways, especially over the last three days, just, just on Sunday night, Lily was in so much pain. She had to pull over on the side of the road. And so I can share what, you know, this morning I was just really praying that, um, God would just heal it. He'll just completely dissolve the cyst because I knew he had the authority to do so. Um, you know, in the, I prayed that and anyway, it's, this is a really, this is really strange for me to share something so personal. And even as I, as I talk about this, I'm not even sure that I'm going to put it on, but at the same time, it's just such, it's, it's been an ongoing thing for our family since July, the beginning of July. And so it's just so such an answer to prayer. Anyway, I want to share that. I'm going to go ahead and edit. Like I said, it's 7 PM. I'm home by myself. I've called everyone and given them the good news and, um, including Lily. I couldn't wait till she got to where she was going to the church. The church that she goes to is like 40 minute drive. And I kept checking the map to see if she was there yet. I didn't want to call her while she was driving, but I was like so excited to tell her. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and post it and, um, <sighs> Just, I'm, we're just feeling really, really, really grateful and thankful right now.